helicopter. Nice. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. All right, I'm at this bridge right now. You guys will probably see a lot of me come to this bridge because this is usually where I ride bike to, and then I uh, ride bike back home. But today I didn't ride bike because uh, it's pretty hot outside. So probably next week you guys will probably start seeing more of this view right here. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, like be someone else. No one stopping now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I came across an article that was February 6, 2018 of what I would say is the luckiest couple on planet Earth. Well, maybe not, but this couple, Mike and Kelly Gallivan, are receiving random packages from Amazon of little gadgets such as phone cases, Bluetooth earpieces, ring lights for your phone, hand warming phone chargers, and all these little gadgets. So, I don't know if you guys know me or not, but I love receiving packages in the mail. So if someone was to send me a bunch of different packages and I received one to two packages which Kelly and Mike were receiving, I would be absolutely ecstatic. At first they thought it was comical, then they thought it started getting a little creepy so they called Amazon and they said what are all these packages coming from and all Amazon said was that they were purchased with a gift card and they couldn't give them any more information. So some people that are investigating the case say that someone probably made a fake account with Mike's name, is purchasing him with a gift card so he can leave reviews on those products. So it looks like a trusted buyer is leaving those reviews, but when in reality, it's just a scam account. So I thought that was a pretty funny story I came across. I thought it was pretty fitting since I just received this Amazon package in the mail today, which we're gonna open. This light is flickering awfully over here. get into what I got here. I think something fell down. First package. Dear customer, thank you for your recent purchase. My name is John Wang and I'm the president of Newer Tech. Awesome. Ooh. I don't know if you guys know what an ND filter is, but this holds all your filters. Package number two. Got it. A SIM card and CFast card memory holder. That's gonna be very nice. Package number three. No, it is not the head of a driver. It's called a dead cat, and it goes over this thing right here, the microphone. Super soft. Oh yeah. If they can make a pillow out of this, I should just order like 400 of these, sew them all together, and make a pillow. Oh. Package number. What is this? Four. Package number four. Oh, baby. It's a camera cleaning kit. Sounds very nerdy, I know. A brush, lens cleaning tissue paper, a bunch of wipes. They're kind of like those moist towelettes at wing places, but for a camera. Cameras don't eat wings. Tell me you want wingy. Look at this thing. This is definitely my favorite thing in the whole entire package. Drum roll, please. It's light, man. A battery grip. When you're out taking pictures, like the ones I post on Instagram, instead of holding your camera like this, when you take pictures for Instagram, you have to turn it and hold it vertical. Now it's super awkward to put your finger all the way across the top, so this piece goes here, and you can hold it sideways. So you can shoot here, or here. I'm gonna throw the battery grip on the camera, 
And then since I got all these new camera gadgets and tools and stuff like that, I thought this would be a great day to show you guys what's in my camera bag. So let me throw this on there quickly and then we'll get into what's in my camera bag. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. actual bag and what is inside of it and where everything goes. The actual bag I use is a Low Pro. I got it from Best Buy for like 80 bucks. Let's start with the side. I guess I keep my main my main tripod, the Joby Gorilla Pod. I don't know what it holds. It's just a generic one. It's like 60 bucks. You can get this on Amazon. I actually have two of them because this one broke. The piece falls in and out. This big pocket. I have a mini screwdriver, have my pen, a little brush comes out of there, a generic brush, whoa, looks like a makeup brush, probably works the same, this little whole slot here, I got two microfiber cloths, this big slot here, I have gloves for when it gets cold outside, here I have a knife, think, 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 now let's get into the main compartment here. Oh, there she is. Starting out, we have the big lens I have, the macro lens. It is a 75 to 300. It's just a kit lens. The next lens I have is the Canon EF 50 millimeter 1.8. It's also known as the Nifty 50. This is great for portraits. This is great if you want that blurry background. It's a really versatile lens. Next to that, I have GoPro, it's in its waterproof case right now so I can chuck it in a pool or a lake or whatever I want to chuck it in. This little squishy air thing for blowing off the lens, it's also fun to blow on your face. My GoPro tripod, this would not work for a DSLR, it would tip and fall all over the place, it's way too heavy so this is just my GoPro tripod. In the main slot I have this camera, now this camera actually doesn't work. It's a prop camera. It's the Canon 60D. It, uh, the LCD lens is broken on it. So I will use this and talk about this as if it's the camera I'm shooting on right now. So the camera I'm shooting on right now is the EOS Rebel T3i. I do not recommend it. It is very old. But if you're looking to buy a camera, I would not buy this one. I would get something like an ADD or a 5D Mark IV or something along those lines. But this camera, it works perfectly fine. Has a flip out screen just like the one I'm shooting on now, but the LCD screen is broken and does not turn on. So I'll keep this in here as if it's this camera. I also have a dead cat, which you guys watched me open like two or three minutes ago. This goes on the microphone there, so when it's windy outside, you do not get wind noise when you're filming outside. In the next slot, I have a Hanski. Whoa. I have a Hanski SD card holder. All your SD cards and micro SD cards can go in here. Very durable, stainless steel. Next I have one battery right now because the other two are in the camera. I have another battery holder for the battery grip. This one takes AA batteries, four AA batteries, five, six, six AA batteries. Very nice. So if you ever run out of batteries for this, you can throw in some AA batteries in here. A charger for the batteries, charging cord. That's all in the zip up pocket. The main camera that I do keep in my bag is the camera I'm shooting on now. I will show you guys a setup here. I will show you guys now. This is what this setup is looking like. Got the mic on top, camera there. Battery grip on the bottom, flip out screen so I can see myself. Tripod, Amazon Basic, Amazon Basics tripod here. All of this stuff is linked below, by the way, if you want to buy it or if you want to check it out. 
The last thing that I have in my camera bag is the lens that is on this camera right now. It is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. That is my main vlogging lens I use for most things just because it's good to get up on my face. It can get nice and close and I don't have to hold the camera way out here like a selfie stick. So this is the main lens I use for that. This lens, the macro lens I was talking about, that's super long. Look at this. That's mainly used for close-up pictures, say flowers, or if you can't quite get to your subject. I also use it for B-roll when I'm shooting buildings and anything that I need to get nice and in there and in tight. I also use that for this. That's all I have in this camera bag. Let's zip it up. Throw this back on there. Voila. That is all I have for What's my camera bag? Now, I gotta start moving stuff into my room because I've been staying in the living room here for like three days. And uh, I'm gonna start moving some stuff in my room. Okay, I'm done moving stuff into my room. I'll, I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. I'm really regretting throwing all that stuff off my table.